This is a tutorial on how to data mosh video files using AvaDemix. Before we data mosh a video in AvaDemix, I've found it best to prepare the video first by converting it to an AVI file. It might work with other containers but for me, using the AVI container has worked the best. Also I usually use the MPEG-4 video codec with the AAC audio codec. I'll be using AvaDemix 2.5.6 on Windows 10. Once your AVI video file is ready, open up AvaDemix 2.5.6. File, Open, Control O, or simply drag and drop your video into AvaDemix to get started. Now we need to select video and audio encoders to modify the video and audio streams. We'll also be changing some parameters for video encoding which is what will help us data mosh video files. Go over to the left hand side and click the drop down list under video. Select MPEG-4 ASPX VID. Then click the configure button located directly under MPEG-4 ASPX VID. A pop up window should appear. Click on the Motion tab. Turn off Rate Distortion Optimization and Chroma Motion Estimation. Turn on Quarter Pixel Motion Estimation. Click on the Frame tab. Turn on 4 motion vectors per macro block. Increase the maximum I frame interval to a large number like 9999999999. Change the maximum consecutive B frames to 0. Click on the Quantizer tab. Turn off Trellis Quantization. Under Quantization Matrix, turn off H.263 Matrix and turn on MPEG Matrix. That is all for the XVID configuration. Click OK at the bottom of the window. Directly below the video encoders, click the drop down list under audio. Select AAC, FAAC as your audio encoder. Under the drop-down list labeled format is where you can select your output container. 
Leave it on the default format of AVI. Now it's time to save the video. When saving, be sure that you type out the container. AVI, extension in the file name. It must match the container selected under format. After the video is saved, open it up in AvaDemix. This is the prepared video that we will datamash. We'll need to change the video encoder from MPEG4 ASPXVID back to copy. In order for the audio to datamash properly, the audio encoder must be left on AAC FAAC. Look at that cat! Look at that cat! It's like Java the Hutt! My preferred method is what some people call the bloom effect. It's basically just the duplication of P-frames. P-frames only hold part of the image information, the part that changes between frames. Without I-frames to reset the image, frames start to blur and blend into one another. Use the blue buttons with one arrow or your keyboard arrows to navigate and use the A and B buttons to select P frames. Use Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. I've found there is a limit to how many frames you can paste before the program crashes. Experiment and see how many you can get away with before it crashes. <laughs> Use file, save, save video or control S to save the video. After typing the file name with extension and clicking the save button, a small window that states you may need smart copy. Enable it. Will appear. Click no. <laughs> it's like Java the Hot. Ever the hot. Ever the
It's like Jabba the 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 You can also insert iframes into a bloom effect to smear the iframe. There are a bunch of different ways these principles can be applied. Experiment and see what you can come up with. <laughs> it's like Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the <laughs> it's like Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Hut. Rob, this is fashion week. <laughs> it's like Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the Jabba the <laughs> it's like Jabba the 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 It's common to save a datamosh video and then open it up in Avademix to datamosh it further. I've had final videos take 20 plus videos to get to the final product. Not ideal but it's what I had to work with at the time. The simplest form of data mushing would be to delete any iframes except the first one. For the video to display properly, it needs to start with an iframe. An iframe, intracoded, picture is a complete image like a JPEG or a PNG. At the bottom of the program, the blue buttons with the two arrows are for navigating to the next iframe. Using those will help speed up the process of finding and deleting iframes. To delete an iframe after using the blue button mentioned above, select the A button to set a marker. The blue buttons with one arrow are for navigating through a single frame at a time regardless of type. Hit the blue button with one arrow to toggle forward a frame. Then select the B button to set another marker. The iframe is now selected. Hit delete on your keyboard to remove the frame.
Camilla. Lee! Lee! Harvey's dead! We heard the scream. Let's go. 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 Let's go.